Hello and good morning. We'll continue our discussions on um, the cash flow statement and today we have a very specific question to answer. Why is cash from operation not same as profit after tax? In the process, of course, we also try to understand the calculation or determination of CFO, that is cash from operation, when the profit is given. So, CFO is not same as PAT because of several reasons. CFO is prepared on the basis of, okay, CFO is prepared on the basis of, CFO is prepared or determine is determine um, using or determine by preparing by preparing the cash flow statement whereas a PAT is determined by preparing by preparing the income statement by preparing the income statement an income statement generally income statement is prepared income statement is prepared is prepared by using by using the accrual concept and matching concept accrual concept and matching concept whereas the cash flow statement is not based on accrual or matching principle so one of the reasons why CFO is not same as PAT is because of the accrual concept and because of the matching concept. But we would like to understand m the specific reasons why CFO not same as profits. So CFO is not same as profit as we saw in the last session because of the non-cash items, because of non-cash items, because of non-operating items and because of the credit items, that is the changes in the working capital. So CFO is not same as PAT due to non-cash items, non-operating items and the credit items which are there in the income statement. What are these non-cash items? The normal non-cash items, popular non-cash items are depreciation, amortization. Depreciation and amortization because they already been included in the income statement and that cash flow is not there so CFO will not be same as the PAT. In the same way non-operating items income statement will include interest received, dividend received, interest paid, dividend paid, the profits and losses from the sale of asset but all these are non-operating so therefore CFO will not include any of this. Besides this the other important is the changes in the working capital that means due to due to the credit sales or credit purchases or credit expenses so which we can find by seeing the debtors or creditors or the outstanding expenses. To so therefore we can say that the CFO is not same as PAT because of the non-operating, non-cash and the changes in working capital. So one can find CFO by adding or making adjustments to the PAT for non-operating, non-cash and changes in a working capital. Let us try to un un understand this by taking a simple example. Suppose in this example you see the balance sheet is given for the opening and the closing balance sheet given. The income statement for the period is given and you see the profit after tax is 2000, 2065. So we would like to find out CFO and, uh, and check whether CFO is same as PAT or is not same as PAT. So let us take the PAT here, PAT, and as we discussed here, is PAT is not same as CFO because of non-cash, because of non-operating and credit item. So non-cash, non-operating and credit item. So PAT here is 2065. Non-cash non item is a depreciation 
and the depreciation which is shown in the income statement as an expense so we are going to add back so I'll let me also write down add depreciation is a non-cash item but if you see the income statement there are certain non-operating items too and the non-operating item there is an income so less dividend income let me also write down dividend income so the dividend income has been included in the income statement but is not an operating and add back interest paid okay interest paid generally we treat that as an financing expense so so okay so 50 is the interest which is a non operating or a financing then we'll see the changes in a working capital because the sales may be on credit the purchases the cost of goods sold may be on on credit the expenses may be on credit which will appear as a changes in a working capital so the changes in working capital can be determined by seeing the debtors stock and the creditor so what happened to the creditor creditors have decreased so creditors has decreased means you have made payment to them so therefore we can say less decrease in less decrease in creditor less decrease in creditors that is um, 1200 minus 2. what happened to the debtor the debtors have increased that means you sold the goods on credit so once again less increase in increase in debtors increase in debtors that is from 2250 to 3500 so is the case with the stock the stock has increased so less increase in the stock increase in the stock from 1500 so 2000 so no other working capital or current assets and current liabilities are there loan is a long term capital is long term plant is a fixed asset share is a fixed asset so the current assets and current liabilities that is working capital items have been taken care so now if you observe Vihar, the CFO is a negative CFO is negative here and the negative because of the various adjustments and the adjustments are for or due to the non-cash non-operating and the working capital changes so you can easily see here the profit of the company is 2065 but the company is not earning any CFO in fact the CFO is negative so the company is not able to convert the profits into cash to summarize once again so CFO is not same as PAT because of non-cash non-operating and credit items and that we are able to see here the non-operating items is a depreciate uh, non-cash item is a depreciation we are adding it back because we have deducted while computing the profit the non-operating item is dividend we are deducting it here because we have included in the income statement as an income in case of depreciate uh, in case of interest is a non-operating we are adding it back because we have deducted in interest creditors we are deducting because that means we paid money decrease in the creditor the debtors we are again decreasing because the debtors have increased and that means you have sold the goods on credit the stock has increased that means during the period stock has been has been purchased or acquired so because of these adjustments and changes the profit is not same as or profit and CFO are different so maybe some other sessions we will see how to find CFO this this question has been answered by doing an indirect method so CFO is not same as PAT because of these 
adjustments and these adjustments are non cash non operating and credit items thank you very much